afternoon, Game On Athletes. How are you guys all doing today? Um, I'm Jenny, and I'm going to be talking about and going through some lacrosse um, cradling and stick handling skills that you can work on whether or not you have a lacrosse stick. Um, you can also use something like a broom or a Swiffer that kind of has a similar type of handle. Um, and if you have a lacrosse stick and a ball, that's great. If you don't have a ball, that's okay too. Or if you just have a tennis ball or something lighter, also fine. Make sure you double check with your parents if you're allowed to use a ball in the house. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna be talking about cradling. And cradling is one of the fundamental skills in lacrosse. Cradling is how you keep the ball in your stick when you're running down the field. So when we cradle, we have two hands on the stick. Your dominant hand, which is typically the hand you write with, is the one that's towards the top. So that goes about two thirds of the way up the stick. And if you have your stick laid flat, it's like your palm in that hand is facing up. And your other hand, which is the one that helps you keep your stick balanced, goes palm down at the bottom. And then when we're holding our stick, we want it to be more upright, just at a little bit of an angle, because that way the ball will stay in our stick and it stays protected. Because if we're holding it out here, a defender is going to come along and knock it out with their stick. So keeping it closer makes it easier to protect it. So when we're cradling, what you want to do is you want to have the stick facing towards you and you're going to have it in front of you and then to the side, front and side, front and side. So if you see I'm moving the stick to my ear, and a good way to think about this is like you're listening to your friend, the ball, you're talking to your friend, the ball, listening, talking, listening, talking. And when I'm cradling, I want to make sure that my top hand is the one that's actually moving the stick. So if you watch my hand, I'm using my wrist to just move the stick a little bit so it always stays facing towards my head. And my bottom hand is there to help keep the stick under control. Because if I only have one hand on the stick, it's much harder to control. So, talk, wait, sorry. Talk, listen, talk, listen. And the more comfortable you are, the faster you can go. And strong lacrosse players can use both hands equally as well. So it's always important to practice with both hands. So I'm going to use my left hand on top now and just practice cradling a little bit here. All right. So when you cradle and in a lacrosse game, there's so many different situations and so many different places that it's good to cradle. So it's always good to practice cradling at different angles. Cradling up here by your head, which is what I would refer to as like the normal location to cradle. You can create, have to cradle down here to protect it, even down low towards the ground, up behind your head, and with your other hand, back here, down low, down even lower, right, right in front of you. So there's a lot of different positions that it's important to practice cradling. The next skill I'm going to talk about is switching hands. So when you switch hands, all you want to do, you're going to bring the stick across your body, move your bottom hand up to the top, and then slide your other hand down. That way you still maintain complete control of the stick the whole time. And you can practice that going back and forth too. Across, bottom hand to the top, slide your other hand down. Then do a couple cradles, stick across your body, top hand above, and then slide your other hand down. And then you can keep cradling. So another important point about cradling is you always wanna make sure that your stick is protected by your body. As, so if I have a defender standing right in front of me right here, I want to keep my stick in this hand so that way I have 
the whole stick and my body keeping it away from the defender. And so I need to be comfortable using both hands because depending on the defender, they might be able to know if I can only use my right hand. They always want to try to force me into a position I'm uncomfortable in. But cradling and stick handling is one of those skills where the more you do it and the more you just practice, the more comfortable you become with your stick. And when you're under pressure in any sort of game situation, you can handle it with no problem because you're used to having that stick in your hand and being comfortable no matter what. So a good way to practice cradling and being comfortable in different positions is you're starting off standing up. I'm cradling with my right hand right now. Starting off standing up and then going down to your knees and continue to cradle. And then I'm going to sit all the way down, cradling the whole time. And then I'm going to go back to my knees and stand back up, all while maintaining that cradle. Now, switch hands. All right, cradling with my left hand, down to my knees, down to the floor, still cradling, still cradling, back up to my knees, and then back up to standing. And if you want to practice protecting your stick from someone or something, you don't even have to have another person. For example, I have this chair right here, and I'm going to pretend the chair is a defender, so I'm just going to practice keeping my body turned and my head up and just cradling and trying to protect my stick from that defender. It's, one of the, it's very important when you're cradling that you keep your head up and you're not just looking at the ball in your stick because that way you can see if you have an opportunity to run by your defender, to make a pass to your teammate, or to even shoot and try to score a goal. So keeping that head up, very, very important when we're cradling. All right, I'm with my left hand. This chair is my defender. And now I'm using my right hand, using my body to help protect my stick. So you can practice your cradling even just sitting on the sofa while you're watching TV or playing with one of your siblings. But always important to make sure that you are being safe when you are playing, keeping that stick nice and close to your body and keeping everything under control. All right, so next time we'll be working on a little bit more stick handling skills that involve more movement with the ball. But I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and we will see you later.